Lydia from White Street Kitchen again. Today we're going to have a little chat about the latte levy, the cup levy that everyone's talking about. So some of you may have read the article that was in the Leamington Courier that they came in and had a little chat with me and several other local coffee shop owners about what we thought about this and what our views were. They did a really good job, they reported it really well, I think it was quite well rounded in terms of what they told you, but maybe I, well, I would have liked to have seen them go into a bit more depth about what I think the other options are and what we've discussed in detail here at White Street Kitchen. So just to round it up for anyone who isn't aware, maybe you don't read the news, uh, what we're talking about by the latte levy or the cup levy, the government are talking about starting to add a 25p tax or levy onto every takeaway cup used, basically because recyclable cups aren't as, well, that's not as transparent as it seems. It's very difficult to remove the, the waterproof sort of plastic film on the inside of takeaway cups. So there's only a few recycling plants in the UK that can do this. Um, and also a lot of a lot of consumers are just throwing things into the waste, throwing into the, things into the bin as, as they walk past. So in the same way that we had the 5p introduction on plastic bags at supermarkets, which we're now all used to, uh, or now have other alternatives carrying around with us at all times, they're going to start introducing a 25p levy onto your takeaway cup. Now, there's a slight issue with this, or we here discussing this in detail at Warwick Street Kitchen, and you may have seen in the newspaper article, have discussed how adding money onto this and the government saying that they will spend it on better recycling options or more recycling plants. There's an issue there, and I've discussed this a lot with um, a guy that works with me called Alex, and he was pointing out that really that's just saying we're going to carry on using plastic. We're, we need to put more money into recycling it because we're going to keep consuming single-use plastic. Actually, we think we should be cutting this off at the source. There are other options. And yeah, okay, we've all heard of the reusable cup and spending a bit more money on a cup that you can wash and reuse time and time again. We sell some here. It's a good option. And if you can get that into your daily routine of, of taking that home and washing it and bringing it back, that's amazing. That is the ultimate goal, right? But we're all human, we all forget things, and it's quite a difficult behavioural change to make. Whether that's an excuse or not is a different conversation to have, but somebody, one of the guy over from Caffeine Magazine did a video on this on his YouTube channel. He pointed out it's a lot easier just to fold up a plastic bag and put that in your handbag or rucksack than it is to keep a cup with you. So the other option, which a lot of other coffee shops are doing, I know a load of my other local coffee shop friends in Leamington are doing this, is compostable consumables. Now, I think maybe we take for granted that you guys know what we're talking about here, because to us, names like Vegware or Compost Me are just daily names. These are companies that we work and use, work with and use. Let me show you, for example, you might recognize these takeaway cups. You can get them branded as well. These are made of plants, 100% sustainable, 100% we can compost this and make this into another cup all over again. So yeah, made of plants. Even the things that look like plastic, such as the lids or what looks like the plastic on the front of a bag here, is made of corn. It's corn based. So this can go into your food waste and just be made time and time again, reused time and time again into other takeaway consumable options. So that's what we're, we're really pushing for. We think cut it off at the source, stop producing, or the goal should be to stop producing these single use plastic options. And everyone should be moving into this biodegradable, compostable future. Now, the guys that make these cups, Vegware, this is the company that we use, they're based up in Scotland. I forget exactly where, sorry. And they have um, a system called Close the Loop. I read about this a while ago and I thought it was brilliant. So Close the Loop, anyone that Vegware supplies, any restaurant, cafe, coffee shop, anything, Vegware will offer the service for a bit more money that they'll come back around once a week and collect food waste and any cups or consumables that customers have brought back. When I say consumables, they make knives and forks, they make everything. There is just no need anymore to have single-use plastic on site. There are so many other better options. So here's what I think we should do, and here's what I was chatting about in that newspaper article. 
I think all of the local businesses in any given area, for example, Leamington Spa, should all be getting together and paying for a weekly or twice weekly food waste collection service. Now this deals with two problems. One is that when you run a restaurant, there are, there are inevitable bits of food waste. We're pretty good here at keeping it minimal, but inevitably you've got peelings and off cuts and leftovers that customers have left on their plates. And this solution, we could then say to you as a consumer, bring your cup back with you. So wherever you end up, work, wherever you're going, give it a little rinse, put it back in your bag, bring that, come back, bring that cup back next time you come in. We'll throw it on our compost heap and that will be collected. So yeah, Vegware have pioneered this up in Scotland. I think it's an incredible idea. And I think it's something that we can definitely emulate down here. My next step is to reach out to Vegware and ask them for any advice and how they think we could go about doing this. I'm also organising a meeting with other local business owners, cafe owners, etc. about what we can do and putting this into action, what the cost looks like, how affordable it would be spread over all of our overheads, all of our costs. But ultimately what we, ultimately what we need from you as a consumer is the behavioural change. Uh, so we're, we're going to do our bit, we don't have single use plastic on site, we're going to offer you these compostable, biodegradable, better options. So all we need in return is for you to start bringing those cups back. Alternatively, buy a reusable cup, we will happily make your coffee, your hot chocolate, whatever it is you drink, we'll happily make it in there. But we're all human, if you forget it, we have another option here. And all we're saying is bring it back to us, we'll throw it on the heap, we'll get it composted and it will be made into another cup again so that's a much better option if you know we well, we think is a much better option we think when you know we don't need to look into better recycling options let's just get rid of the problem at the source the question we've got after that really is would coffee shops such as ourselves still be expected to collect a cup levy because if we're not actually producing recyclable, we're not actually using recyclable cups, would be, be accept, expected to start charging our customers 25p for a cup. I don't know, I haven't read anything or heard anything about that. If anybody has any information on that, let us know. I'm also going to, in the comment section below this video, post a couple of links to further reading or a couple of other videos. That If you're really interested in this, there's some other great information out there on that. I'll also post links to the Close the Loop system that I've been talking about that Vegware have put together because I think it's really interesting and I think that might be the future of this. So thank you very much for watching. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you think feasibly you'd be happy to bring your cups back to us if you knew that they were going to be dealt with responsibly. Thanks very much. Bye.